Well, congratulations. That was exciting. Thank you. How are you feeling? I feel great. Yeah, Did that kind of go the way you, you thought it would? As quick as you thought it would? I mean, I hate to say it, but it really did. I mean, I've been telling people all week, like, if I get that position, it's over. That, that, that's my position, you know. I, I, that's my finish. You know, I was telling people all week, like, I'm not, not making fun. Like, I'm not bullshitting. All week I was telling people, take first round sub, take first round sub. Yeah. Do you feel like, I mean, obviously you were the biggest underdog in the card. Yeah. Do you feel like people, you know, why, why do you think people were putting you as such a big underdog? I don't think that they understood that, like, I literally took these last two fights on, like, we left three days after I got the phone call. Like, I wasn't training. Like, I had, sta like, I had staph infections. So I understand, like, the concern about, like, you know, my cardio and such. But people don't understand that, like, you can't get ready for a three-round fight in three days. You know what I mean? So I, I, I get it. I get their ignorance. I understand. What about the fact that it seemed like your fight was changed from we thought maybe the co yeah. event to the first? What happened there? Do you know anything about that? <clears throat> I mean, all I can say is my fights are exciting. Every time I fight, it's exciting. Every time I fight, I get a finish. So, um, I mean, no, no shot to him, but I don't know. I think... I won't say that. Yeah, whatever. You know, he wasn't, neither of you were scheduled for media day with us. Yeah. Um, he specifically asked to come out and talk yeah. to us. And then he kind of spent the time trash talking you a little bit. Yeah. What, did you, what did you think about that? Did you watch that interview? To me, like, I have, like, a so I, I feel for the kid. Like, he's got a lot of pressure on him. I, 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 and I know what that's like ever since I was a little kid. I always had a lot of pressure on and everyone handles that a little bit differently. And that's kind of like the way I see it. You know what I mean? Whether he's going to find who he is, he'll figure out, he'll have a bright future. And this might seem like a silly question because I think you were only in there for 76 seconds. But was there anything about him that surprised you? No. No, I study. I've been watching, like, I did my homework. You know what I mean? Like, with a full camp, we do our homework. I come from the best team. Uh, you know, we're 14-0 in the UFC with nine finishes. No other team has that record. No one's talking about it, but I'm just going to keep saying it. Like, every time I fight, I'm going to keep sitting up here and saying my team's 14-0, and you know, <laughs> and you until someone starts talking about it. And you called out Gerald. Can you kind of uh, explain why him? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that he came out and was like, I want the easiest fights for the most amount of money. Like, I don't like that. Like, for me, like, yeah, money's important, but I'm fighting for legacy. Like, th that's the shit that matters to me. Like, my, my, my kid watches me. You know what I mean? Like, my kid looks up to me. I don't want to fight the easiest guys. You know what I mean? I want to climb the rankings. I want to fight tough, the toughest guys. So I don't like that. And how soon do you want to get back in there? I'm ready. For, I want to go to Singapore. I want to travel the world. Awesome. Thank you so much. Andre over here. Uh, a lot was made on the broadcast leading up of uh, you felt slighted that people might have been overlooking your grappling and wrestling when talk, com being compared to him because he's done a lot of interviews touting his own wrestling. So, yeah. um, given the way this fight ended, you knew you would, you, you just said you, you told everyone to pick first round submission. But the fact that you put him to sleep in there, does that make it any more satisfying at all? I mean, <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, that definitely puts a, an exclamation point on it. But, um, I mean, I'm telling you, I've been drilling that position. Like, that was my position. I saw it going that way. Like, I envisioned it, like, so many times. So to see it actually go that way was, like, tremendous, yeah. Uh, can I ask who's on the... That's my daughter. FaceTiming me. <laughs> Riley! You're on TV! <laughs> what, what did she think of your, her dad's performance? <laughs> she's only three, but she's wrapped my shirt on. There you go. I'll call you guys later. Sorry about that. Uh, finally, uh, a video clip just came out of you guys, of him running up to you and like giving you a hug after, but yeah. I couldn't really hear. What did he say to you back there? He was just like, congrats, man. You know, good, we're martial artists, you know what I mean? So I understand, you know, trying to build the fight and, and whatnot. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, respect. If you can't get on the Singapore card, would you, are you going to try to angle for like the London card too? Because there's a couple international fights coming. Or back to Abu Dhabi. I, never, I haven't said no yet, so... Yeah. Hey, Andre. Yes, what, sir. What the hell is in the water at, at Hinzo Gracie Philly? <laughs> You're going to have to ask Daniel that. Um, but nah, man, we work incredibly hard. You know what I mean? We're in there. We're, we're, <laughs> we're pulling no punches. We train really hard in there. You know, I get humbled every day. Yeah, I mean, and you guys got four guys in the UFC all undefeated. I mean, it's just like, what does that say about 
your your team. It really it shows uh, you know the, the grappling, the, the jujitsu prowess, prowess of um, you know my coaches Jonathan Webb and Daniel Gracie. Um, and then, how did it feel to take someone's O? Oh, it feels feels good. Yeah, you know, anytime you get to do what no one else has done, it, it feels good. Or to be the first, you know that. Those are the things I want to do in the sport. I want to be the first. And finally, um, you know, GM3, but there's another uh, guy, uh, Brian Battle, that you got yeah. all, all signed up. Is that a fight that you would like in it, the future? It will, it, will, it will happen. Yeah, it will happen. Um, whether it's next or it, down the line, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but it will happen. Yeah, that, that has to happen. Congrats. Thank you.